Let's take a look at uh, this story now. Panina visited a refugee camp near the border with Mali and found this report. Gudubu refugee camp is home to more than 8,000 Malians. It is one of only two Malian refugee camps in Burkina Faso. And it is here that they thought they would find a safe haven away from home. Al Hassan is among thousands of Malian refugees who are presently in Burkina Faso. He's been here with his family for about eight years, and in those eight years, they've suffered double displacement. Al Hassan, talk to us about your journey. We left Mali in 2012 when insecurity broke out. All around us, our neighbors were attacked and houses were burnt down. So I decided to move with my family to Burkina Faso. At the time, he had three young children, the eldest only seven years old. After walking for a week, they finally reached Mentau refugee camp in Burkina Faso. By the time we arrived, the children were sick due to the long journey and the harsh weather conditions. They were also very weak because they had not been eating properly. As security in Mali deteriorated, more and more Malians fled to Burkina Faso. The camp where Al Hassan was registered, Mentao, presently hosts more than 6,000 Malian refugees. It has now become a prime target for militants and a death trap for the refugees. To be honest, it is a challenge. It's a, a situation because they, have, they, they run away from their country because of insecurity. Now they are facing the same situation in the country of asylum, which is a, a, a terrible situation. Mainly, I can even talk about those of Mentao who are really in the battlefield, if I can call it. They are really in the battlefield. They can't move out too much because around they are surrounded by armed people. As a result, Al Hassan fled again, this time to Kudubo refugee camp. But even here, safety is not assured. That camp itself has been attacked three times. In April, in November, and in December. Three attacks by unknown armed groups attacking the forces at the, the one indeed protecting the camp. Securi the, 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 those are forces are there to, say, to, to assure security of the refugees and themselves have been attacked. Despite those attacks, Al Hassan's family, perhaps left with nowhere else to run to, insists they will brave it out. I would rather stay here. At least here, I don't see what I saw in Monato refugee camp. There were dead bodies everywhere. From time to time, we would hear gunshots. We had no access to hospitals, and our children couldn't go to school. Here we have all those amenities. The attacks, however, have become more and more brazen. Here, in Gudubo camp, aid agencies can only stay up to 2 p.m. due to insecurity. The Burkina Faso government has provided security personnel to secure the camp in a desperate attempt to fight back against the militants. Still, security remains a huge concern for the refugees and presents a huge challenge for humanitarian agencies to access them. Penina Karibe, CGTN, Indori, Burkina Faso.